Hey folks, I've been using the Vision Pros for about a week now, and here are some of the settings that I've turned on to make the user experience a little better. Let's check them out. Let's start with Assistive Touch. If you remember this little button that we used to use to try and save our home screen button back in the day, we can use this now in the Vision Pro, and it's a lot more useful. So you head over to Accessibility, Physical and Motor, and then Interaction, and then you'll see Assistive Touch right there. You just click that on. We'll see your old familiar button pop up right there. And then you can kind of put it in a 3D space, put it wherever you want. You can also customize that button to have up to eight separate features. So you, I added screenshot in there. And now when I click on that, there's my screenshot. Boom, nice and easy. When you do want to take a screenshot, you click and hold, and then you can move your head to where you want the screenshot to be taken. Boom, there's your screenshot, it goes straight to your photos. Also in the assistive touch, if you click on device right there, that's gonna get you into a lot of other settings. And this is also where you can find the shutdown, force quit, restart, all that important stuff. So definitely a good one to have your assistive touch button on. If you ever feel like you're getting motion sickness, try this reduce motion feature. There's a lot of stuff going on. You can see the ripples in the virtual environment. If you hit that reduce motion, those ripples are just gonna be static. So there's a lot less motion going on and that may be affecting you. So you just head over to accessibility, vision, and then motion, and then hit that reduce motion. Bold text. I really like a bold text. It makes it a little easier to read. So in your accessibility, and then vision, and then display and text size, there are all these different features to check out. So when I hit that bold text, you can see it gets nice and fat. Then you can even go even bigger with larger accessibility sizes if you want and you can really crank this thing up and bam, look at that. <laughs> you got some huge text now if you need it. Also is button shapes, which I really like to have turned on. That kind of gives your buttons a little more contrast. And also this little on off labels, I like just having that extra little graphic, why not? I think it looks kind of cool. Another important one is to highlight around the selection where your eye is at, and that's in the increase focus state. So when you click that on, you'll see the little white bounding box that goes around it. You can also do this in your Apple TV and it just makes clicking around a little easier to know where you're at. You can also go into dark mode in your settings with this increase contrast button. You'll see when I click that, it goes from light to dark. Another cool little feature is this zoom magnification box. And you're gonna go into accessibility, vision, and then you'll see this zoom and when you click that, you get a little zoom box that will go around and your clicks go through that zoom box, which is kind of nice. So whatever you're looking at in the zoom box, you can change the colors of the bounding box. You can move that box wherever you need it. That will definitely help folks with some vision impairment going on. You can also go full screen zoom if you want something even bigger. It's kind of hard to see in the screen capture, but when I toggle back and forth, this is the normal view. And then when I hit full screen, boom, it gets really big. So if you need some big screens, check that one out. You can also do hands-free control with this, which I really actually like clicking around with just my eyes, and it's under the dwell control. And when you turn on that dwell control, it's, you're gonna see it popped up next to your assistive touch. You've got all these different things. So I was on tap. As you let your eye linger on something, it will eventually tap it after a few seconds. Then you can also scroll around on websites and it's the same type of idea. You let your eye rest, you'll see it click. Then you look down at the bottom of the page and it will click again and automatically start scrolling for you. So very cool. So just like with the AirPods Pro, you have access to a free white noise, gray noise, and there's all these different things. So you, you're gonna click into your AirPods Pro and then into the audio accessibility settings. And this is where you'll find your background sounds. You click on that and this is where you'll find the gray noise, the white noise, they also have a stream, they have an ocean, they have rain. So just a nice relaxing background sound to really get you into focus mode. In Apple TV, I like to create my own subtitles style and you can do that in the Vision Pros as well. Uh, click on the subtitles and captioning and then you're gonna hit style 
and then create new style. They already have a bunch of different templates, but then you're gonna click create new style. And from here, this is where they give you all the options. You have your fonts here. These are kind of the baked in fonts that they give you. This is very similar to Apple TV as well. But then you can also add a font, which I don't remember this in Apple TV. Maybe there, it's in the update for it, but they just have all these fonts you can check out and make your captions out of these if you want. You can change the color. I like yellow subtitles. Then there's the opacity of the background. You can have these little bounding boxes. Here's the drop shadow raised. You can still have your sad, depressed captions if you want. So that's a very cool one. All right, folks, I hope that helped get you some ideas. I definitely recommend everyone go into the accessibilities section and poke around. There are just so many features in there, and this is actually one of the most accessible devices Apple has ever made for their first-gen release. So it's a really special device, and I'm excited to see where Apple goes. But please hit that subscribe button down below. I'll put links in the description for some more information on all this stuff. And thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you at the next one.